Hello everyone, a little update on the drone strike on Prolatorsk oil depot in Rostov from a few nights ago. With everything happening in Kursk, I didn't really find the time to do a video on it, until now. But this is definitely worth a look. So, this was attacked three days ago, and the fire is still burning. Hilariously, Russia said just debris landed on the oil depot. Debris which I bet coincidentally was the exact same size and shape of a drone. The satellite image on screen now is what I want to look at here. It's on Sentinel Satellite Imagery and was shared by MT Anderson on Twitter. He's measured the smoke billowing from this oil depot to be 105 kilometers long. So that's an insanely large fire with no signs of slowing down. It's a massive distance. Here it is zoomed in, satellite imagery shared by Mark Krutov, showing that at least 18 oil tanks so far are destroyed. Given the fire is still burning and there are zero signs of it burning out any time soon, or Russia being able to put it out, I guess the remaining tanks near here, gooses are certainly cooked. Mark Krutov also shared this nice little time lapse of the oil fire in a compilation of satellite images, showing the development of the blaze since the drones hit it. And here, a Google map view of the site before it got visited by drones. So it's the Prolator State Reserve Fuel Facility. Estimated to hold $200 million worth of fuel. Each fuel tank you can see holds 5,000 tonnes of fuel. So that's a lot of fuel up in smoke. Judging from the satellite imagery, all of the ones striked out on this image now are now gone. Given the black smoke, it is certainly possible that the fire may have spread to the left hand side of the facility too, and we just can't see it yet. All of this caused by debris, apparently. Does anyone actually believe Russia's twaddle now? Surely after the first dozen outright lies and claims of just debris landing on the target or all drones being intercepted whilst the ship is sinking, even the most ardent Russian shill must surely start to think, you know, Russian sources might not actually be trustworthy. But judging by Twitter and the shills they're parroting every Russian lie, they don't. This is the latest of a number of Ukrainian drone strikes hitting Russian oil infrastructure, and they're certainly having an effect. This headline here mentions an agreement to halt strikes on energy and power infrastructures on the table. This wouldn't be the case at all if Russia wasn't feeling the sting from these constant drone strikes on its refineries and depots. I'm guessing when Putin started his three-day special military operation, it didn't envision for one moment that nearly three years later, he'd still be stuck in Ukraine gaining very little. See Kursk invaded by Ukraine and see drones destroying his oil depots every few days. This here, the Rostov one, probably the biggest and most successful yet. So, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this short update. Thanks very much for watching, and take care everybody.